God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. All that I am, all that I possess, you have given me. I surrender it all back unto your will, my King, all fair and holy, my King, Jesus, most holy, my King, Jesus, most holy. The Lord looks tenderly on those who are poor. In the Lord I have taken my refuge. How can you say to my soul, Fly like a bird to its mountain? See the wicked one bracing his bow. They are fixing their arrows on the string to shoot upright men in the dark. Foundations once destroyed, what can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world, his gaze tests mortal men. The Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and brimstone on the wicked. He sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord looks, looks tenderly, tenderly on those who are poor. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell on your holy mountain? He who walks without fault, he who acts with justice and speaks the truth from his heart, he who does not slander with his tongue, he who does no wrong to his brother, who casts no slur on his neighbor, who holds the godless in disdain, but honors those who fear the Lord. He who keeps his pledge come what may, who takes no interest on a loan and accepts no bribes against the innocent, such a man will stand firm forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are the pure of heart, for, for they, they shall see, see God. God chose us in his Son to be his adopted children. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure 
that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ. A plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into one in him in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God chose us in his Son to, to be, be his, his adopted, adopted children. children. To the elders among you, I, a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings and sharer in the glory that is to be revealed, make this appeal. God's flock is in your midst. Give it a shepherd's care. Watch over it willingly, as God would have you do, not under constraint and not for shameful profit either, but generously. Be examples to the flock, not lording it over those assigned to you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you will win for yourselves the unfading crown of glory. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. He spent himself in their service and ever prayed for them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. Of what use is it to a man to gain the whole world, if he pays for it by losing his soul? My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Of what use is it to a man to gain the whole world, if he pays for it by losing his soul? 
Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him, and in our frailty we pray. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You marvelously illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. Bring salvation. You forgave the sins of your people when their holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion. Through their intercession continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you appointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same Spirit. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those for whom you gave up your life. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, you gave Saint Ignatius of Loyola to your church to bring greater glory to your name. May we follow his example on earth and share the crown of life in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.